My name is Sue Chatterton and Cheeky Seagull is a snapshot of what you can expect to learn from my online watercolour tutorials. I cater for the beginner, but at the same time, I cater for the more advanced watercolourist. Right, we've got our picture and, and I'm just going to talk you through it. If you look at your tracing, you will see that you've only got one bird. If you wanted to, you could go and draw in some other birds, but I've decided I only want one bird in my picture. Once you have drawn your seagull onto your piece of paper, you need masking fluid around it. Now, I've done this, I've done it quite carefully, and the reason that I've done it is so that when I do my background, I don't have to worry too much and I can get right nice and close up to his wings. I've mixed up some ultramarine blue in a saucer. Um, it's quite strong because I don't want to have to go over it again. And I also have some yellow ready to go on my tile. Um, it's quite wet. And I am going on to dry paper. this colour to bleed down. I don't want it to get too strong but I still need for it to go a little bit grey, greyish, neutralish, three colours in it. I want it to be darker up the top here so that it gives me the sense of his wing. Keep it nice and wet introducing that water. Right, and I'm just wetting, just wetting. Quite a hard edge here, so I'll I'll going to actually paint it in like that. You'll notice that I haven't painted all the way to the edge of that wing because there, there, there are some white feathers on the edge of that wing, and so I've left them against the the sky or the sea or whatever that is there, this area, so that he stands out. It's probably just approaching the time that I should be putting salt on if I wanted to put the salt on. But I'm not going to. So I'm keeping all this nice and damp. Let's put some red in there now. I don't want to go too dark, so I'm not putting... The paint that I'm putting in isn't as strong, so it's weaker. It's got more water in it. So I'm just controlling dark, light, dark, light. I'm controlling it with my wet paint. Get my stick if I want to pull any feathers up. If I want to make any definite marks very, very, very gently. Um, and I think... Let's have a look at that the right way up. Um, I think I'm going to say no more now on that. What we need to do to finish him off is our shadow. So if you pull out your tracing, because you'll need that, um, we will sort the shadow out. 